Wireless carrier T-Mobile says the data of 37 million customers was stolen by an unidentified intruder back in November. The company says the breach was only discovered on January 5th. The hacker obtained data including addresses, phone numbers, and birthdays, but the breach did not include bank account, credit card information, social security numbers, or other IDs or passwords. William Antonelli joins us now. He is the tech consumer reporter for Insider. William, based on the scope of the hack, do investigators know who or what was behind it? T-Mobile and the investigators that they've uh, started working with really don't have any idea who might be behind this, or at the very least, if they do, they're not telling us. So far, T-Mobile has just called them a quote-unquote bad actor, which is just a general term they often use for these sort of things. And T-Mobile, as we know, has a lot of experience with leaks like this. Since 2018, they've had about eight or nine different breaches like this with varying levels of severity when it comes to the, court, when it comes to the sort of data that they've uh, obtained. Let's take that a step further. What do those hacks tell us about the security at T-Mobile and why it's apparently a target? Well, T-Mobile, as far as it being a target, T-Mobile has grown a massive amount in the past two years. A few years ago, they had a merger with Sprint, one of their longtime rivals, and that's made them, in terms of customer base, pretty much the largest mobile carrier in the U.S., uh, as you noted, this hacker was able to breach the info of about 37 million consumers. That's about a third of T-Mobile's entire user base, which is about 107 million uh, users. So they're obviously a valuable, valuable target when it comes to getting people's data. And what does this tell us about T-Mobile's internal security? Well, I think it says that, A, they need to step it up, and B, on the consumer side, consumers, I think, really need to start asking themselves, whether or not T-Mobile can handle their data safely now or in the future. So what steps is T-Mobile taking to limit the damage for consumers? So far, we really don't know. <laughs> They've been very tight-lipped when it comes to this sort of data, and especially when it comes to this breach, I think that they are a little bit embarrassed, as possibly they should be. Uh, this breach obviously was not as severe as others in the past have been, but still it shows that they have some big holes in their security. Not only that, that a breacher was able to infiltrate it, but it took them about three months to realize that an infiltrator had actually even been there. Uh, the infiltrator first got in in late November, and it took until January for T-Mobile to notice and take action. Uh, so there's some definite holes in their security and uh, whether they're noticing uh, all that all this is going on in the background. Based on your description, it sounds like it could have been an APT, an advanced persistent a threat and intrusion that gets inside. You don't have any visibility, and it's just extracting uh, that information. So for consumers, uh, what signs should they look out for that their information has been compromised? Well, it's unfortunate because on the consumer side, and I count myself in this as a T-Mobile customer, it really wasn't our fault. You know, this is something that is entirely uh, to blame on T-Mobile's side. No, T-Mobile was the one that got hacked, not us. But at the same time, when it comes to how do we protect ourselves from data breaches, we have to take the same steps that we would just with any of our accounts. Uh, you want to be changing your passwords frequently. Uh, often, you might want to use a password manager so you can have strong passwords without having to worry about whether or not you can remember them. Uh, look at your bank statements often to make sure that no one is taking advantage of your bank accounts without you knowing, things like that. You want to be aware and you want to be skeptical. If something seems too good to be true or if something seems out of place, question it. Uh, because questioning it is how companies like T-Mobile start to notice hey, maybe something is wrong, we should be investigating here. What's the bottom line? You cover this space extensively. What's the bottom line? Well, the bottom line, I think, is that T-Mobile really needs to step things up when it comes to their internal security. And if they don't, I think that, A, consumers need to start questioning whether or not they should continue to give their business to T-Mobile. And, B, it might even be a question for regulators in Congress to get involved. Is the, is the public's data safe with this company, T-Mobile, which has started, I think, to become something of a monopoly in the uh, mobile data space with the way that they're buying up other companies? William Antonelli, thank you.